Yo, what's good guys? I'm going to show you this overpowered strat to get crazy amounts of ore in seconds. I was good guys. So I made a video on this before actually way back in the day, like probably six months ago, and it has been way overhauled, way better updated, and it's way easier now. So pretty much what I am talking about is mid tier players, not early tier, not really end tier that don't have huge automatic mines with Anubis is working on all that. People who still mine manually, which isn't many people, but people who are like stuck in the mid tier, this is going to be a godsend to you if you can manage to get your hands on a few select things. So this one is going to require a tiny bit of setup. This is completely legit, by the way, no glitches, no hacks, no cheats. This is a completely legit method on getting tons of ores. So the things that you are going to need is you're going to need an Astajon and they are going to be found on this map right here. And then you're also going to need the skill lightning strike that can be found at any of the trees it only took me a few times to get them and i believe you can maybe buy the skills somewhere i think i remember people commenting that somewhere but i'm going to have both of these maps up at the end so you guys can pause and look at them if you need later on however once you get these two things if you combine them and give your ass to john a lightning strike this thing is going to be overpowered. I'm not sure if you guys have seen this before. It was pretty popular back in the day. I'm going to go to the volcano where a ton of the ores are and show you how insane this is. All right, so we are here at the volcano. We're going to find tons of ores. No amount of ores can scare us right now because we absolutely obliterate one hit ores. Now, the only problem you're going to have with this is your carrying capacity. I hope you have a ton of carrying capacity because look at what we are about to do to these ores. All you have to do is hop on your Astrodron and then press E or whatever button your lightning strike is on. And look how many coal plants are here. Bye, guys. Oh, it looks like those two weren't in the range. But we won hit all three of these coal plants. 150, 300, and we're already out of inventory space. All the coal uh, ores that were in our way, 450 coal. Bro, we got 2,000 pounds worth of coal in like two seconds. Holy cow. Okay, let's try and find somewhere with more condensed ores. Pretty much you can one hit any ore. Like it doesn't really matter. If your Astrogen is a lower level or you don't have it upgraded, you're going to have to do it, I don't know, like maybe twice or something. Either way, it is a lot faster than sitting there manually mining. It's a lot faster than having low level pals do the mining for you at the base. And if you need like um, some coal immediately, like 500 coal or whatever, it's going to take your pals, even if you have maxed out Anubises and everything, a while to mine that much coal. However, with this method, it takes two seconds. So actually, this could definitely be helpful for like higher tier players also. I know I've used this strategy a few times on like iron and stuff. I'm trying to find some regular ore mounts. I don't know why it's so hard. Usually on the volcano, you find them everywhere. But it's kind of crazy because I don't see people doing this very often at all. And I want to remake a video on this and re-show you guys the strategy because of one certain thing that you can buy that I'll show you guys in a second. And eh, that one looks kind of boring. We don't want to mind that one. We want to go find some like sulfur or regular iron. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one looks crazy. So like I was saying, not too many people are even aware of this passive ability, which is why I don't think it's been nerfed. In my opinion, it's a little too OP if you can rank it up and everything. But look how many of these iron nodes are here. Let's say you're at your base. Your pals are collecting sulfur or whatever, but you actually need some iron right away. All you do is go over to all of these nodes, press E, and bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Okay, it's it's looking like it's only doing like four or five at a time, which is kind of disappointing. I maybe they changed it because they used to do a whole bunch, but still, look how much ore we just got in half a second. We have six thousand pounds worth of ore, and we haven't even picked it all up. Holy cow! Yeah, that was three hundred more, bro. This is insanity. Look at that. We have 11,000 pounds of ore, 1,400 ore in two seconds. That is insane. So pretty much like I was saying earlier with the upgrading, you can do that with the regular Astrodron and it might get you like, I don't know, a third of that or something. But if you want it to be as quick as mine, I don't even think mine's like the maxed out quickness, but I bought these concentrated all purpose pal extracts and i actually upgraded him with the uh, stars and everything i'm pretty sure if you upgraded his attack or work speed or something along those lines and gave him better passives he will do even better than mine because i like didn't spend any time at all upgrading him i just put these on him so mine's probably only like halfway to the maximum and look how absolutely insane that is 
so pretty much just to go over it again you need to have an astrodron which is pretty easily gotten i remember he used to be like the hardest boss in the game in my opinion he was insane but if you're high enough to either breed him or get him out of the boss level you can get him from eggs pretty easily i believe then all you have to do is next find the lightning strike ability. There's a lot of lightning abilities that look just like this, like lightning streak, but it's not lightning streak, it's lightning strike. And that is going to do a lot. And now that I look at it, look, my uh, Astrodron actually has a bad passive, which is negative 20% attack. So I feel like that probably affects his damage to the ores and everything, which means we are nowhere near as close to as overpowered as it can be. If you guys are just sick of mining or you don't have a designated mining base or you want to mine something else, that can go absolutely crazy. And that just gives you an insane, like, I can't believe it gave you 11 thousand pounds of ore in like two seconds you guys gotta let me know in the comments if you knew about this passive ability or if you've seen people do it because i remember back in the day it used to like get some attention for a quick brief period and then everybody stopped using it everyone stopped talking about it and of course recently they added all of these newer mines like coal mine and surfer mine once you become higher level so it's not really needed too much but still if you're like mid-tier or if you're late tier and you don't feel like waiting for your pals to mine, you can just grab an Astrodron, bring him over to a ton of ores, and just go absolutely ham. Now, I'm still trying to look for some ores. It's like when you need ores, you can't find them at all. But when you're just wandering around in the wild, like you come across like a billion ores every two seconds. So I don't really get it. This is especially useful for like sulfur and those harder to mine ores because i know the pals i have like max anubises on my base working on sulfur and everything and i'm not gonna lie they still kind of take forever bro like i'm not going cap they sit there and they kind of take like 40 seconds per ore like bro we do not go all day like stamp snap dog so this is definitely worth it for me this is one of the most impressive abilities in the game definitely one of my favorites and definitely one of the most op ones this is not even impressive at all this is like a puny rock and an ore but still we're going to hit them with one of the lightning strikes and see how crazy this is going to do oh yeah bye bye <laughs> bye bye ores we instantly got 150 stone 400 ore and some paladium fragments so the, like I said, the only issue is actually the inventory space. I have 1.5 thousand inventory space, which is a lot. But if you're going to be doing this, you're probably going to need to bring like a box with you or something along those lines. Nothing crazy, but you can't carry 11,000 pounds of ore by yourself. So you're either going to need to do some glitches or something along those lines or bring some boxes or do this close to your base. Some bases, I know a lot of you guys have bases in areas that have a ton of ores. This is going to be absolutely perfect for you. And this is if you need ores in a rush, don't feel like AFK, or if you're a lower level player who doesn't have like an insane uh you know farm and everything to work at yourself so this is an ore thing i don't think i have any normal um normal mining thing so i'm just going to try and mine it with a gun there we go we actually mined that pretty quick maybe i should have used a weaker gun to use my example because it makes the acid john look not as good but either way it kind of takes forever to mine these by yourself not too long but still like 20 seconds and it takes your pals at home even longer however with this strategy it's absolutely insane let me know if you guys use the strategy i'll put the maps at the end so you guys can just pause and look at them the skill fruit is going to take you a little bit but usually i find it pretty quickly and make sure to sub up or check out some of the other vids on our channel because we have so many glitches up right now from this uh this update and a bunch of other new tips and everything and let's try some of this on this coal before we go now i feel like they kind of nerfed how many ores it could break because back then it used to break every single ore i'm pretty sure now it only does like three or four which is still like insanely impressive but it could be better so let me know if you guys know about this passive ability if you guys knew about it or forgot about it because it hasn't been shown off in quite a while but still super duper useful